Tonight is the night of 7th Muharram. Tonight is the night of Shah Qasim, the 13-year-old son of Imam Hassan and Umm Farwa. Ali Akbar gave the Fajr Adhan. One by one, Hussein's companions went to the battlefield and gave their life for Islam. By Zur time, Imam Hussein was left with only his family, Aun. Muhammad were keen to help their uncle save Islam. Qasim took permission from his mother, Umm Farwa, to fight. Then he went to his uncle, Hussein, to ask for his permission to fight. How can Hussein give permission to his brother's son to die? Qasim, you are the image of my brother. He went to his mother for help. Qasim opened the taviz and placed inside found a letter for Hussein. He took the letter to his uncle, Hussein. Hussein read the letter from his brother, Hassan. Brother Hussein, a day will come when Islam will need to be saved by sacrifice. Hussein, I will not be alive on that day. However, my son Qasim will be there. He took Qasim to Bibi Zainab. Hussein dressed Qasim with Hassan's abba, cloak, and turban. He looks just like our brother Hassan. Tears flowed from Hussein's and Zainab's eyes as they remembered their brother. Hussein then dressed Qasim with the battlefield uniform and gave him the weapons. The young fighter Qasim rode to the battlefield. A rider whose feet did not reach the stirrups, the foot straps on the horse, but he was keen to save Islam. He was the young son of Hassan, the grandson of Ali, and he was trained by Abbas. The young Qasim, thirsty for three days, could not take it anymore. Come quickly help me, uncle. Hussein and Abbas rushed to the battlefield. The enemies of Islam thought that Hussein and Abbas were coming to attack them. The horses ran over Qasim, who was lying wounded on the ground. Hussein and Abbas were searching for Qasim. Where are you, my son? Qasim could not reply. When the enemies withdraw, what did Hussein see? Qasim was not in one piece. The horses had trodden on him and torn him to pieces. His brother, Hassan's son, lying trampled into pieces. Qasim torn into pieces. Hussein took off his abaya and spread it on the ground. He gathered the pieces of Qasim's body and placed them on his abaya. Abbas helped Hussein carry Qasim's trampled body. When Hussein reached the camp, he cried out, Zainab! Help me, Zainab! I have no strength left to carry Qasim's body to the tent. Zainab, ask Amafiza to help you take Qasim to the tent. Ya Qasima, ya Qasima, ya Qasima.